Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Danny Ray coming to you from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Today, my friend, I want to bring to you a ray of hope that I've titled Meditating on the Lord Jesus Christ. The psalmist said in Psalm 48, verses 9 through 11, he says, We have thought of thy loving kindness, O God, in the midst of thy temple. According to thy name, O God, so is thy praise unto the ends of the earth. Thy right hand is full of righteousness, O God. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Judah be glad because of thy judgments. My friend, we live in such a fast-paced world, and now that we've reached what some call the holiday season, Thanksgiving and Christmas, uh, it would seem that we're running to and fro, and it's so easy to forget about God. Yes, forgetting about God is easy because we get our mind on other things. Listen, not meditating upon God's love, not meditating upon God's righteousness, uh, my friend, and his sure judgments, it's also easy for us to do that. Beloved, as you try to walk the narrow road of your faith, you find strength and courage through the Lord Jesus Christ as his sure hand reaches down uh, to help you. Beloved, the world is overflowing with distractions. Uh, this time of year when celebrated in a proper perspective is one of the most glorious times that we can have. Uh, Thanksgiving is uh, one of my favorite times of year because it reminds us again of the importance of being thankful to a God that loved us so much. And then we reach the Advent season where we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. What a glorious time it is, uh, my friend, as we celebrate his birth. But I always like to remind people while he was born, a baby in a manger, he's not a baby anymore. He grew up, made a man, went to the cross of Calvary, died there that we might have life and have it more abundantly, that he could reach into our lives, save us from our sin. Uh, they buried him in a borrowed tomb, but glory to God, he didn't stay there. He resurrected and he's alive forevermore. But you see, we get so busy with the distractions of this time, and uh, we made this a, a business season instead of a glorious season. The world is overflowing with distractions. Beloved, take a few moments from the chaos of life and think about how much Jesus loves you and uh, how much he cares for you. When you're faced with difficulties seemingly too big for you to handle, remember to think about Jesus. When you hold the Lord Jesus Christ within your heart, all of your big adversities are suddenly reduced in size. When you are overcome with worry, when you are overcome with doubt, thinking and meditating about the Lord Jesus Christ pushes doubt and worry away. Worry and doubt are erased in faith because his power flows through your every moment of life on this side of eternity when you look to him. When you're enslaved by your life, take just a moment and meditate on the Lord Jesus Christ. When you think about Christ, you become more like Christ. When you meditate upon Christ, you are renewed in your life. You're restored in your life. You're made wiser than you've ever been before. When you meditate upon Christ, his grandeur, his love, his compassion, and his presence really get to be real within you. Meditate and think on Christ in this time of year. Not only this time of year, but every day of your life, take time for Jesus. Father, today, how grateful we are for this time of year a time of year that reminds us to be thankful, a time of year that brings your birth uh, back to our memories. What a glorious time of year it is. But Father, help us not get so wrapped up in the running and the, uh, the season in trying to buy presents and gifts and doing uh, 
While all of that's important, God, you're so much more important. Help us, God, not to commercialize this season, but help us to meditate on you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today, my dear friend. Hey, uh, smile. Go out into your world and make a big difference. Your life may be the only Bible that some will ever read. Let them read Jesus as they look at you. Let them see him, and uh, you'll make your world a better place. God bless you now.